Hey guys, welcome to this week's WTF. We are testing out a mist that will hydrate the skin that you can use before makeup, you can use it after makeup. It's gonna improve hydration when you use it day after day after day. Uh, this is Chanel. You guys know I love the Sublimage foundation. I did a video dedicated to that foundation. It is crazy expensive as well, but uh, the ingredient in that that really increases hydration is vanilla Planifloria, I really hope I am saying that right. I think I just screw it up every time. Um, but that ingredient really does hydrate your skin and they came out with this. This is ridiculous. This is like, I don't really think it's worth the price, but I still want to investigate it. This is the Chanel Sublimage La Broom Revitalizing Intense Revitalizing Mist. This is a $200 basically setting spray, hydrating spray. It comes with little ampules, which is interesting. We're gonna open this up and it's very tiny. Like one of their selling points is this is TSA friendly. So if that makes you want to purchase it more then know that you can carry this on. You don't have to check this. Um, but it has little refillable ampules that are 0 0.06 ounces. You get three of them. So you're not getting a ton of product. It's way overpriced, but it does have that ingredient that in the foundation really, really worked for me. So I wanted to try this out. And the first thing we're gonna do is mist this all over my bare skin, then put on foundation, powder, all of that stuff, mist it again. We're gonna see how it feels. We're gonna see, why am I just holding a lid? I'm drinking fat water. Have any of you guys heard of this? It's so good, no sugar, oh, so good. Um, okay, we're gonna see if it hydrates, if it does anything to make my skin look a little bit more plump. This has hyaluronic acid in it as well, and it just sounds really cool. I know it's crazy priced, but you know, it's WTF, this is kind of what I do. So let's just open the box up. F, that is beautiful, right? Oh my gosh, what? Why won't you open? Oh, f Apparently I'm not that sophisticated. You don't pull it open, you twist it. This is all sorts of fancy. And then the mist. Oh, that is glorious actually. That's like a nice, do you see that? I'm demonstrating what's probably costing me a dollar a spray. That would actually be really interesting to see how many pumps you get per ampule uh, or refill cartridge. That'd be interesting. Okay, so you get three additional refills and one already in the case. So these are what the refills look like. How do you refill this? That's so crazy. Okay, so it just opens right up. You stick this little puppy in here, then it goes back in its home. Cool. Still not worth $200. You're so expensive, Chanel. We all know that you're just kind of ripping us off and somehow we still buy it, or at least I do. Why? I don't know. Something interesting is the first ingredient's water, then you have glycerin. I like glycerin in setting sprays. I think it makes the skin look so beautiful and dewy. And then you have the vanilla planifolia fruit water. So that is the third ingredient. So they are giving you a lot of that uh, special ingredient, I like that. You know, the ingredients don't look terrible. Yeah, so why don't we just like slow it down, play some like romantic music, and I'm just gonna mist my face and see if I get a new one. If I like age backwards for a moment. All right, three, two, one. I feel exactly the same. Okay, so uh, the way that I go through setting sprays though, <laughs> This would last me no time at all because I'm just like ch -ch 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 -ch. more is more, use more. So this could be a bad habit. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is just put on my makeup and then when I'm done, I'm gonna spray on more. And basically this will just be like a vlog day. We're gonna kind of go through the day, chit chat, hang out and talk more about the product as my makeup wears. All right, cool. I'll see you guys in a minute. You guys, I don't know if this is in my head. I don't know if when we use expensive items, maybe we think they're better than they are. I mean, I know I try to be really fair and I am hard on products, pro and con and all of that, but I'm looking at my makeup and I'm like, wow. The hydration is just so nice. And I use the YSL All Hours, a foundation I use a lot. I wanted to make sure that I was using makeup that I know how it wears, no matter you know the day, how hot it is, all of that. Like something that I really am comfortable using and I know what I get out of it. 
and I feel like this made it look better, just kind of priming my face with this. So the hyaluronic acid in here and the vanilla whatever we're calling it, uh, really are doing something great for my skin. So I'm hoping for maybe a little more magic misting this on my face. It dries down so incredibly fast. That is so strange to me. Normally you mist your face with something and the dry down takes a minute. There are zero water droplets. There's nothing that is going to disrupt your makeup at all. So strange. Oh God, I just got it in my eye. God, darn it, you are so stupid sometimes. All right, we're gonna have to see if my face gets totally greasy because of this or what the deal is. I know that a dewy skin mist that everybody seems to really enjoy is the one from Tatcha. That one is a bit too heavy for me, so I'm hoping that this works out because I just spent a lot of dollar bills on this. And uh, yeah, we'll just kind of check in and take it from there. It's outfit of the daytime. I hope you guys are enjoying me doing this. If you hate it, tell me. If you like it, tell me. Um, but I always feel like, you know, when I'm doing these videos, like why not share a little bit of fashion, something different? So this top, F me. I literally just looked at the tag. Hold on. Benjamin J. I literally just took my shirt off to let you guys know that this top with a bajillion holes in it that are fashion holes are, <laughs> this is by Benjamin J. What is with this trend though, right? I kind of love it. And I usually hate polka dots or holes. There's like a weird phobia for that. Like I don't like cracks in the ground either. There's like a weird name for it. I forgot it. I don't think I have it that seriously, but usually it creeps me out. But somehow I like this shirt. Um, I will tell you when I bought this, James was with me and he actually had that awkward moment at the counter where he was like, hey, this shirt has holes in it. Do we get a discount? And I about like, started like melting into the floor of embarrassment. Um, his dad humor sometimes is really on point. So this top is Benjamin J. My skinny jeans are frame denim. I love these. They do not lose shape. They are fantastic. Um, you know, something different than my Laura's boutique jeans that I love. I kind of go back and forth between these two. And then, uh, yeah. We're with the Stuart Weitzman shoes again, I know. And that is that. This is the most disgusting juice ever made, but I buy it for my health. I keep doing this to myself. Why? Why? Gross. Okay. So we're here at Staples because I am the dummy that went out and bought a calendar that started in January when I need something now to kind of organize my day like hour by hour or so. It is a sexy trip too. This is actually perfect. I love this, but I can't find a calendar for this year right now. There's still months left in this year. <laughs> what am I gonna do? No, it needs to be aesthetically pleasing. This is BS. I am not happy. Are you joking me? My husband ditched me to go and get ice cream by himself. What in the hell? That looks so good. It's delicious. Really sucks not being able to eat dairy. I want it. Yes. Ice cream makes a delicious dinner. I'm gonna get a juice. See how much healthier I am than him? You win. <laughs> Honey, you don't understand. They make their own waffle cones. Stop. They have a waffle press. They make their ice own ice waffle cones. Outfit of the day has changed dramatically. I've had a very good skin day. I've said that 5,000 times. I do enjoy this product. I don't regret purchasing it, but before I give it like the huge stamp of approval and say, yes, this is incredible, I just wanna point out this is not a necessary item. I think this is something great if you have dry skin, you struggle with hydration, you want your foundation to go on a little bit smoother and you like the idea of something like this, it is great, it's not necessary. Um, and I'm gonna use it till everything is gone and then I'll give you like the full update if it really was worthwhile or if maybe my mind was just playing tricks on me. So that's where we're at. What do you guys think? Is this absolutely ridiculous? Or if you found a spray that just made your skin look so good, made your foundation look so good, would you pay this kind of money? I mean, I paid for it to do this video, but I don't know if I'm gonna buy it again. That's where I'm at. All right, we're shutting this down. I'm in my PJs. 
the day is done. I love you guys. Thanks for watching and hit the thumbs up button if you like this. I will see you all in the next video. All right, love you. Mwah.